This is a British colonial dish brought back from India. This is our smoked haddock kedgeri. This recipe is a traditional British breakfast, but we're going to show you how to make it as a main course Ooh. meal, okay? So what it is, we've got some smoked haddock, which we're going to poach in a little bit of milk, and then use that as a flavouring with our curry powder, put it into a risotto of kind of basmati rice. But to start with, we'll go with our leek and garlic. Which one do you want to do, Jay? I'll go for the garlic. Awesome, you have the small board then, I'll do that one. I'll do the leek, uh, and if you can just peel and crush the garlic. Ben, I've got a problem. Problem? Yeah. You've called this a traditional British breakfast. You've definitely just said it's going to have curry. Well, it's a dish that was actually brought back um, from colonial expats. So it's got Indian influence, hence the basmati rice and the, uh, the curry powder. Okay. But traditionally eaten as breakfast in this country, um, brought back to the UK. So there you wow, go. You Learn do something know. new every day. You do know your stuff. Wikipedia, that stuff. <laughs> If your leek is a little bit grubby, then just put it into a colander and then just kind of rinse it in some cold water. Um, what that does is just get rid of any grit and mud. We'll put another butter into our pan and then as that starts to melt, we can add in our leeks and garlic yep. to sweat off. And what we also need to think about doing is poaching our uh, haddock. So if you can put our pint of milk into our other pan, and just bring that up to a boil. Now we don't want our leeks to cook too much, okay, because they're going to cook out in the risotto as well. Yeah. So if you can pass over the curry powder. All of it? Yep, all of that. Two tablespoons and a splash of wine. Perfect. And then we'll just reduce that down. Now, this is smoked haddock. This one is a dyed smoked haddock. I was going to okay. say, it's not usually that colour, is it? Uh, it doesn't come out to see that colour. No. But this is part of the smoking process. Yeah. Now for this, we don't need to worry about taking the skin off. Okay, we're going to cook it with the skin on and then it literally falls away afterwards. Nice. Okay. Our milk is just about coming up to a boil. Yep. Yeah, you can see that. You don't want it to boil over. Milk makes an awful mess if it goes all over the stove. Was... All we're going to do is put our haddock into that. So does that poach it? Yes. Okay. And what it'll also do is give some flavour to the milk, which we can use at the very end of our risotto as well. And it just needs to basically cook in residual heat. Okay, so let's simmer for a minute and then turn it off. Okay, and perfect. that will just let it cook very, very gently. And the rice grains go in. And then we stir it so that all of those grains are coated in some of that. Right behind you, yeah. there is some stock. Ah. This can be whatever stock you've got lying around, or whatever you know, stock cubes you've got, vegetable or chicken or fish, whatever you like. A little bit of time, each time letting the last lot absorb before you add more, a bit more. But let it simmer and bubble for about 15 minutes until the rice is nice and plump. Okay, the residual heat would have cooked our haddock, and then I can show you how to finish the kedgeri, and we have our breakfast or dinner ready to go. Oh, exactly. Oh. There we go, that's the kind of consistency of what we want when it's cooked and the rice is It's more is like there. a biryani type. Yeah, so it's yeah. not quite as starchy as a risotto, no. a risotto rice, but it's, yeah, biryani. Biryani. Basmati rice. If we just take our smoked haddock out of here. We're going to fish it out. Fish it out. <laughs> and the residual heat has just cooked that, but it's not overcooked, so it's still holding together. Yeah. And then if you can just go by and flake the bits off. Okay. okay. So take off the skin and just flake it into big chunks and put it into our bowl. Okay. Okay. Cool. While you're doing that, I'm going to poach some eggs, which are great to serve on top. Some salted boiling water. You wait till the pan is boiling and then turn it off so you've got it just below the boiling point and crack an egg in. I'm going to put a little bit of our milk in here. So that's really full of flavour. Our smoked haddock as well makes it even more creamy. Fresh parsley at the end. We're really looking forward to this now. Keep the fish really chunky. And obviously, because it's a fish dish, we also need a bit of lemon. So I'm just going to take the lemon and just halve that, and we'll squeeze that in in a second. So now we can just put everything into our dish at the final point. So some peas, mm. nice sweet peas that are going to combat the smoky and the curry flavours. Yep, they go in. As does our fresh parsley, our squeeze of lemon, uh, your fish. It's kind of a breakfast brunch kind of dish. So give it a good mix up. But not too much, you don't want to break up that fish any more than it already is. And then leave it for about a minute or two, okay, just while the egg is finishing off. You're ready, we're probably good done? to go. You hold, we we'll go for one long line, we'll get fancy. We said it was quite a special meal, so there we it go. Is. You want to impress somebody with this, don't you? And we'll scoop out our poached egg, and with a bit oh. of luck, that'll be beautifully soft. Right on top there. Final bit of parsley, our wedge of lemon. Fantastic colonial dish brought with Indian influences to the UK is our smoked haddock kedgeri, sorted. Got your runny yolk as well. Moment of truth. Look at that. Oh, hello. So dig in, tell me what you think. It's amazing. Lightly spiced. Oh. But the flavour, that's incredible. Yeah. This could almost, almost challenge a fry up. You eat frickin'? Almost. You heard it here first. 